Well, let's get into it. What type of theme are you thinking of for your party? Uh, yeah, so just want like a really like trill kickback, nothing too lit, nothing too live. I uh, gotta have a bad John, it's gotta have some beat in there, you know, just really chill, I gotta crank too, so. Don't want it to be OC or anything. Just, I just wanna keep it like trill, really trill. I don't want too many heads there to be honest, like just gotta have a Cole's villains, obviously. <laughs> gotta have some people from the gate, gotta have some bad John's, gotta have the bait. Just nothing too hot. Like, I don't want to make it hot for people, you know? No squad coming in too deep. So if all those things can be met, it'd be lit. Uh, sorry, I didn't catch all that. <laughs> nothing 50. Nothing fluke. Ah, you're on your neck. Hi, can I cut in here? What's wrong with her? Is she all right? Oh, there's nothing to be worried about. She's just from Montgomery County. Hi, my name is Angie. I'm from Maryland State Youth Translational Services, Montgomery County Division. Ah, thank goodness. Now, what this young lady was trying to express to you was that she wants a really fun party, but nothing too over the top. Something her friends would enjoy and that might just even get the bait. The bait? Yeah, um, look, I'm gonna give you my card. The lingo around the county changes every three months or so, so be sure to give me a ring and I'll keep you up to date. Our state services are also offered for Prince George's County and Baltimore City. So, get hip, be ill, and a strong 10. No need to resort to youth confusion or slang shaming. Maryland State Youth Translational Services left behind Marylander in all of us. Welcome to the Station North Tool Library. We are three years old now. We have over 2,000 tools. We have over 1,100 members. Right now we're standing in the public workshop where we teach tons of classes and this space is available for free to members twice a week. Membership to the Tool Library is based on a sliding scale system. We ask people to donate a dollar for every thousand dollars a year that they make. We teach a safety class that everybody has to take. It's 25 bucks um, and then that's free access to a, a, a woodworking shop tons of equipment, and a really cool community. Thanks for checking us out. the first time somebody asked me. Seriously? I must have been in the third grade. What are you mixed with? I'm sorry, what? I said, what are you mixed with? Confused, confused, like help me. Oh, I don't understand, are you black, are you white, are you orange, are you gray, are you- I'm a lot of things actually. Um... Okay, great, because I already have the answer in my head and whatever you have to say that goes against my prejudgments will be aptly disputed. Also, I will not accept American as an answer. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the definition of a racial microaggression. Family is from- Little did I know, I had absolutely no obligation to answer this question and no matter how I did, I was always met with feudal race-based disappointment. So you're telling me you're not even Egyptian at all? Disappointed. You're not even a little bit Hispanic? Disappointed. Man, I thought you were going to be something fun, like half Filipino. Disappointed. Disappointed.
And then always came the next question. Like, what percent are you? I just don't see why that matters. It matters because I need to know your percentage of ethnicities so I can dole out my stereotypes accordingly and proportionately. What? I, I said I'm just really curious. Excuse me, what? No, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, no, no. <laughs> Stop the movie, no, I'm gonna let you finish, but like, what race are you actually? Are you mostly black? My brother, have you heard the word of sister Maya Angelo? Are you mostly white? So anyways, you guys, this is Wonderwall. Long story short, here's the most interesting response I've ever gotten to one of my answers. Do you realize who you are? You are this country in the future. You are the future, future child. This is magnificent. This is magnificent! Yep, it absolutely is. My friend is totally right. In the year 2050, the average American is projected to be of mixed race. This is gonna be great! There's gonna, gonna be little boys over there! There's girls over there! It's gonna be great! There's gonna be one big pot of I know a lot of people think, well, these are just questions and they're absolutely nothing more than words. Well, I might agree with that too if I was the only person being asked the questions. But you know, something tells me that I'm not. I got a list. And which half is which? Why are you so into Asian culture if you're white? Which one do you like more? Is your hair real? Is that your real hair? <laughs> Why do you listen to white music? You shouldn't tell people you're mixed. You should tell people you're black with things mixed in. I often get asked, Hawaiian. Um, uh, are you Hawaiian? That's it. You're Hawaiian. Yeah. I silenced a grocery store once by walking into it. That was fantastic. Where are your parents from? And I'm always like, well, they're from D.C. They're like, yeah, but I mean like, where are they really from? Michigan? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, you can take your percentages somewhere else. Because I am not a pie chart. But if you insist on seeing me as one. See me as this. 100%. 100%. That was so damn <laughs> One hundred percent me. Some like shine, some don't. This place has something like shining to it. Wait, what? I'm on my Bluetooth, I'm not talking to you. head through your doors. Let me stick my head through your doors. Let me stick my head through your doors. Oh, I love Kubrick. Yeah, I get it, man. I get it. Let me stick my head through your doors. Let 
me stick my head through your doors. Let me stick my head through your doors. Let me stick my head through your doors. Look, it's 3 a.m. We're in the fucking Sunrise Inn. Can you please take this shit somewhere else? You know, the A flat, that Ooh. key. Shut up. All right, here we go. Thank you.